uh, directly or indirectly, a, a bill limit on their side is a limit on us as well because um, obviously we have to have house sponsors for any legislation we want to pursue. Um, in the end, I certainly support uh, Speaker Harwell's efforts to, uh, to minimize the number of bills that are filed um, and to, uh, to free up um, the committees uh, to focus on things that, that really need attention. As, as most people know, the, with our bill filing deadline, and the desire and the need to file so many caption bills or bills that are just placeholders, but but all those bills still have to be filed, referred to committee, jacketed, uh, s uh, summaries of the bills have to be written on every one. So it's a little frustrating to have 2,000 bills filed, but only maybe five or 600 that actually see the light of day. And so uh, I certainly support Speaker Harwell's efforts to uh, to streamline that and we'll see what they what they decide in the rules committee I, you know first of all i'm curious whether they'll reach resolution on the issue i understand that the, the 10 bill has not been adopted yet but if it is um, it certainly has an impact on on the number of bills that can be filed by senators as well um, we got out the earliest in 14 years uh, last year at the end of the 107th um, without an artificial limit, just just hard work and resolution by individual members. Um, I'm willing to try just about anything, but I do think it needs to be to be fair so that people of Tennessee aren't shortchanged. In well, they, do they? I mean, you, obviously they can kind of set their own rules, right? But yep. I mean, how did they? Do, would you expect they would try to get some input from the Senate in some way, or yep. no? Just what, whatever they do. Bicameral legislature, separate chambers. That's why we're the upper house. Okay. Is there anything that you would do to say, well, if they're going to do that, we're going to do this then? Um, if, if it's a problem, then there's always the delayed bills committee. Okay.